Dave, you returned from the deep end in Casa Vieja Lodge Barely in Guatemala. And welcome back to the Hummingbird Jägermeister workbench. And so tell me, we're talking about dolphin this week. Well, I, you know, I barely made it back because I almost got stuck when I was there by uh, a sailfish. A sailfish almost got me. I think we have a little video of it here about the sailfish trying to snag me in, in uh, Guatemala. I was wiring the fish and uh, here he is, is Doug Shank on there with a little sailfish we had on. We caught, I don't know, uh, probably 110 sailfish in four days. We had wow. four boats out there. It was pretty good. Seas, as you can see, is a little rough. You know, it's rough for Guatemala anyway. It's like, yeah. like six, six foot that day. But I uh, had a little sailfish on there. It looks like a Florida sailfish, probably weighed about 40 pounds. But I had the camera on my head, which probably saved me, because one thing you always want to do when you have a fish on the leader is watch it the whole time. I mean, the mate goes and puts a tag in it, and it goes away a little bit, and we bring it back to cut it off. And right when the mate reaches down there and cuts that thing off, he comes almost into the boat. I, wow. I actually, uh, you're going to do a slow motion here. That thing missed my chin. That bill missed my chin by about an inch and a half when he comes right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> I actually gave him a little left hand. Hey, get out of here, man. You know. Well, but, tell uh, me about giving a dolphin a left hand. That is impressive video. Yeah. I can't wait to look at that. I got, a, I got a much more. We're going to bring some more back oh, cool. from, uh, from there. But, uh, yeah, what well, we're talking about dolphin fishing, you know, they, they grow so fast. You know, they get really big, really quick. And uh, so the best thing to do is to, to let the little ones go. But when it's time to take one, you know, that's the big deal for us. Because, you know, a dolphin fish, like any fish, he doesn't like it when he gets stuck. Right. You know, and and if you if you stick a dolphin fish and he's not ready, especially a big one, he will tear your boat to pieces. He's he's worse than the cobia. He's worse than everything else. You, know, you hear a lot of stories about cobia beating a boat apart. A big dolphin will tear a boat apart. So when you when you go to, to when you go to hit one, you want to. I like to have a little bit of a shorter gaff. This is a six foot gaff. This is as short, I mean, as long as I would go when I'm wanting to gaff fish. Mm -hmm. So, but when a, when a fish comes alongside the boat, first off, you want to bring it alongside of the boat and you want to keep the motor running. That keeps the fish's head pointing in the same direction that you want him to and also helps keep his head in the water. You never want to lift a dolphin's head out of the water. Once you lift his head out of the water, he's going to want to jump. And if he's jumping, you can't get him with the gaff. Right. You never want a gaff over your leader if you can help it. If right. you're by yourself, you know, sometimes you might have to gaff over the top of your own leader. But if you've got two people, you let the, you let the leader man get in there and, and you get in behind him and come from behind. Now, a trick that I like to use is when I'm gaffing, I like to gaff, I'm usually by myself, is I'll, I'll wrap with my left hand and I'll slide the gaff, especially if I'm on the port side of the boat, I'll have the, I'll have the fish coming this way and I'll wind with my left hand and get him up close and I'll slide the gaff straight down the leader right. to his head. And as soon as I get right to his head, I'll just pull. You don't have to do a bunch of lumberjacking. That's the worst mistake guys can make when they start trying to hit a dolphin. They start hacking at the fish, you know. Mm -hmm. You really don't need to do that. It just needs to be a slow, smooth motion. If you have that leader in your hand, you can actually use the leader to guide the gaff right to his head, and you just give a sh firm pull. And because of the way that, you know, the, the gap of your gaff, it'll usually hit him right in the eyeballs. And if you can knock both of his eyeballs out, he doesn't really give you a bunch of grief once he comes over the side. Well, that's a, you last always, time they knocked both mine out. You gotta knock them out. <laughs> you always, and before this gaff gets over the edge, yeah. you need to know where you're gonna put the fish. You never gaff a fish without having the fish box open and a place for it to go. If you're standing there with a, a 40 pound dolphin on the gaff and you're waiting for your buddy to open up the thing, you're gonna get beat up. And with the hook swinging around and the tail flopping, it's a, that's how most people get hurt on sport fishing boats, is not having a place to put the fish before the gaff goes in the fish. That's a good advice over here at the deep end. Yeah, well, we're trying yeah. to keep people safe. All right, we appreciate Let's that. Let's eat the fish, not have them eat us up. <laughs>